Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another BoxyCharm unboxing and try on haul video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while, even though I just did one last month. But anyway, I just got my box yesterday and I was super excited to try out everything because I didn't really know what was coming in this box. Usually I look on their Instagram and it gives you like sneak peeks, but there were a lot of products that they were saying you're either getting this or you're getting that. Um, so I feel like everyone's boxes were a little bit different this month, month? this month, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's really all I have to say for the intro. So if you want to see how I use all the products and my first impressions, then let's just get on to the video. I feel so weird having like half of my makeup done. Very weird. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, let me find the card thingy. So this month's box theme was called Glitz and Glam. Um, I didn't know that it was called that. Uh, so I noticed that there are a lot of cheek products in this specific box, so I don't know how I feel about that. But let's just go ahead and see what they're like. First, I'm going to start with this Beauté Basics, and this is Bronze Essentials. Quinny. So this is a bronzer, I guess, and it has a lighter bronzer, a sh gold shimmer strip, and then a um, medium to dark bronzer. So you can either kind of take them individually and like use the shimmer as a highlight or swirl them all together to get more of a luminous glow. Um, I hope this isn't going to be too tan on me because I'm pretty pale right now. And this retails for $39.95, which is pretty... I'm nervous. Alright, so I'm going to swirl it together. And I'm just taking this on a fluffy brush and I'm just... Applying it where I would my bronzer. It's actually, I feel like, I don't think it's too dark. Um, it might be a little more orangey than I would like, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It applies really nicely. Um, I think I'll really like this in the summer and, or when I'm self tan so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my neck to just um <laughs> try and make myself a little bit tanner you know but I really do like this actually I sometimes I get a little bit apprehensive when there's the strip ones and you kind of blend them together but I do like that you can individually take the shades um so, I don't know. I do like this. I feel like it gives you a nice sun-kissed glow. So, the first thing is a plus in my book. Then the next thing is the Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless Blush Kit. And this retails for $32. I feel like I look really orange. But I'd rather be orange than pale. I feel like I've already said that before. Okay, so it comes with three different blushes, a more mauve brownie color, a coral, and then a pink, and they all, these two on the ends definitely look like they have shimmer. The middle one I think might be more of a satin blush. Um, I think I'm actually going to go in with Unstoppable just because it looks the most seasonally appropriate color. So I'm just taking it and popping it on my cheeks. I like it. I feel like it's a very natural flush. Um, good for every day. I should I try these other two? I don't really want to. Coral is pretty. I'm not going to try that pink. I just don't really want to put that on my face right now. But I like that they're subtle because sometimes with blushes, I like to kind of start off easy and build them up and not go 
too heavy on the blush just because I'm not really, I don't really like that look. So I do like these as well and it's always nice to have a blush kit. They're great for traveling so you have a couple different options in one little palette and don't have to worry about bringing every blush that you own. All right, the next thing, which is also a face product, is the Vintage Cosmetics Illuminating Face Highlighter. So we're just hitting all the stops on our cheeks today. And this retails for $32. All right. Can't open it. There we go. So this is what it looks like. It looks very pink. It's like a rope pink with a gold shimmer. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm a little bit. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this as an actual highlighter or just kind of as a um, blush topper. Yeah. So I'm keeping it a little bit lower on my cheeks just because I'm pretty pale right now. So I don't want this to be my actual highlight. So I'm just taking it on my more of my cheekbones than the highest point of my cheek. But it gives off more of a gold reflux than the pink that it looks like. So it does just give you a nice glow. I typically, in the winter and when I am more pale, prefer to have sort of a brighter highlight, but this is really pretty. And it definitely can be used as a blush or and highlight. It's kind of like a one-step product, which I really like. Um, and you get a lot of product in here, like this is pretty big. And the color is rose gold, by the way. God, I can't open it. Like that's a pretty big pan, so. You get a lot of product in there, which is nice. I'm feeling like my face just looks really rosy. <laughs> well, whatever. All right, the next thing I'm super excited for because it is a mascara and I always love trying out new mascaras. So this is the Tarte Tartist Lash Paint Mascara. So I'm first going to curl my lashes before I dive into this because that's what I would do normally. All right, now let's go. So I think this is supposed to be a volumizing mascara. So let's just see. It's one of those plasticky um, applicators. So usually these are really good at separating your lashes. It's not too wet, which I like. I hate when I first get a mascara and it's super wet and goopy. It makes it really hard to work with, but this formula is like the perfect consistency, actually. Ooh, I like this. By the way, if I didn't say this retails for $23. I'm very impressed. I really like Tarte products. They are one of my favorite makeup brands, honestly. So I'm curious to see how this will wear throughout the day to see if it will flake or rub off. That's the two things that are probably the most annoying about mascaras is when they rub off on your um, lid. I hate that because you don't know that's happening so you're walking around and no one tells me that that's happening and I'm like, you just let me walk around looking like I like have a, like got rained on. Anyway, I don't know why I just went on that tangent, but I will definitely be curious to see how this wears through the day, but I really like my first impression of it. Really impressed. It really opens up your eyes and defines your lashes, but also makes them look really long. So that basically covered all my bases for my lashes and then the last thing is the makeup geek showstopper cream stain 
I've never tried any Makeup Geek products, so I'm excited to try this. So this definitely, the formula reminds me of the NYX, um, what are they called? Like satin lip, I don't know what they're called. Satin lip, is that what they're, I think it's just called that. Um, the consistency of it. I actually do like this color though. It's a little bit cooler than I usually go for on my lips, but... I actually do like it and it dried down the first time I put it on and then you saw me rub my lips together I probably wouldn't do that because I feel like it just kind of rubbed it off so I would probably let it set and then you're good to go um, let me see so it doesn't transfer so I really like it I mean it's not like the most it doesn't look super hydrating on lips which I'm not always a huge fan of I feel like I like my lips you know I like my lip gloss so I don't know, but I really do like this color, and I believe the color is Showstopper. It doesn't say it's bone. I'm just gonna assume that that's the color, but yeah, I really like it. I feel like it makes my teeth look white, which is also another plus. So that was the last thing in this box. I actually really liked every single thing that I got, which I feel like I usually do. But I was a little bit skeptical just because I knew I was getting three different face products, and I was kind of like really like that's not you know too exciting but I really do like all of them and definitely will use them all again I think my favorite just for my first impressions was the mascara just because I really like the way that it looked but I also like the bronzer and the blushes so good job boxycharm I really enjoyed this box and these are all great for travel as well so I'm super excited about that um, so yeah, that is everything for today's video. If you have not already, be sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any videos. And if you liked these kind of videos where I try on all of my products for my BoxyCharm, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well. And I think that's pretty much everything. So I will see you guys in my next video.